According to images circulated on social media on October 5, 2024, the Russian-made S-70 Okotnik B stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV, one of Russia's most advanced drones, was reportedly shot down near Kostyantinivka in the Donetsk region of Ukraine. This incident marks a significant and rare loss for Russia, as the S-70 Okotnik B plays a pivotal role in the country's aerial warfare strategy. Various reports suggest the S-70 was down due to friendly fire in what appears to be a disastrous misidentification by Russian forces. However, other credible sources claim that Ukrainian air defense systems were responsible for shooting down this highly advanced drone. The conflicting accounts highlight the challenges of verifying information during active combat, but they also underscore the intense risks of modern warfare, where even state-of-the-art systems are vulnerable. Should Ukrainian forces be confirmed as the party responsible, this would represent a major achievement, particularly considering the S-70 stealth design and cutting-edge technology, which are specifically engineered to evade sophisticated air defense systems. This raises important questions about the vulnerabilities of stealth drones in highly contested combat zones, where advanced air defenses are prevalent. The downing of the S-70 may also have far-reaching consequences for the Russian military's confidence in its unmanned aerial systems. Designed for stealth missions, reconnaissance, and precision strikes, the Okotnik B is integral to Russia's next-generation aerial combat strategies. Its development was seen as a major leap toward autonomous warfare, incorporating artificial intelligence and integrated combat technologies. Yet, whether the drone was destroyed by friendly fire or enemy action, the fact that it was shot down suggests that the Okotnik's electronic warfare and stealth systems may require further refinement to counter modern air defense capabilities. This incident could prompt Russia to re-evaluate how it deploys these drones, perhaps moving them into standoff roles where they would remain at a safer distance from enemy defenses. Alternatively, improvements to its electronic countermeasures ECM could be prioritized to enhance its defense against anti-air threats. The loss could also accelerate efforts to upgrade the S-70's technology, with a focus on improving its communication systems, stealth characteristics, and survivability in hostile environments. Russian defense contractors may now be pressured to develop countermeasures capable of protecting the Okotnik from advanced missile systems such as those used by Ukraine. Beyond its military implications, the loss of such a valuable asset on the Donetsk front could have broader geopolitical repercussions. The incident could intensify the arms race between Russia and Ukraine in drone technology, potentially involving NATO and other global powers. As drones increasingly become central to warfare, the development of both offensive and defensive drone capabilities is expected to escalate. This incident serves as a reminder that even the most sophisticated technologies require constant innovation to remain effective against rapidly evolving defense systems. Both Russia and Ukraine are likely to increase their efforts in drone warfare, pushing advancements in artificial intelligence, automation, and stealth technology. The S-70 Okotnik B, as part of Russia's wider military strategy, symbolizes a shift toward more autonomous, integrated combat systems in modern warfare. These drones are designed to collaborate with manned aircraft in complex missions, potentially reshaping air combat dynamics. With its stealth features and ability to execute precision strikes, the S-70 was poised to play a crucial role in Russian operations, particularly in contested regions like Donetsk. However, the loss of this advanced drone could lead to a re-evaluation of Russian tactics and technology. It may also serve as a cautionary tale for other nations developing similar platforms, highlighting the importance of adaptability in the face of evolving threats and the central role of electronic warfare in drone survival. In conclusion, the downing of the S-70 Okotnik B over Donetsk represents not only a blow to Russian military efforts but also a reflection of the intense and rapidly changing nature of modern aerial combat, where even stealth drones are vulnerable to advanced air defense systems. This event may mark a turning point in how such technologies are deployed and defended in future conflicts. The Sikhoi S-70 Okotnik B, also known as the Hunter, is a cutting-edge Russian UCAV designed by Sikhoi in collaboration with other branches of Russia's defense industry. It represents a major advancement in Russian military technology, aimed at developing a heavy, stealth-capable UCAV capable of executing a range of combat and reconnaissance missions, asterisk asterisk. The development of the S-70 Okotnik began in the early 2010s, driven by a growing global interest in military drone technology. Russia had recognized the strategic importance of UAVs not only for reconnaissance but also for combat roles. Drawing from previous drone programs and global trends in stealth technology, the Okotnik made its public debut in the mid-2010s, with its first flight occurring on August 3, 2019. 
A key feature of the S-70 is its role as a loyal wingman to the Su-57, Russia's fifth-generation stealth fighter. This concept envisions the UCAV operating alongside manned aircraft, performing reconnaissance or strike missions autonomously, yet under the command of a piloted aircraft. Tests conducted in late 2021 demonstrated this operational partnership, showcasing the potential of these platforms working in concert. The Okotnik stealth capabilities are central to its design, featuring a flying wing shape reminiscent of U.S. drones like the X-47B. This shape, along with radar-absorbing materials, reduces its radar cross-section, making it harder to detect. It is designed to carry a range of precision-guided munitions, such as air-to-surface missiles and bombs, allowing it to engage high-value targets in contested airspace. Additionally, its advanced sensors make it ideal for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, missions. Capable of both autonomous and semi-autonomous operations, the S-70 can either function independently or be controlled remotely by operators or manned aircraft. Its integration with the Suit 57 highlights its flexibility in joint missions. Moreover, it is equipped with artificial intelligence that enables it to handle complex tasks, including navigation, target identification, and engagement, with minimal human oversight. Regarding its specifications, the S-70 Okotnik is a large UCAV, measuring approximately 14 meters, 46 feet, in length with a wingspan of around 20 meters, 65 feet. It is powered by a single jet engine, possibly a variant of the AL-31 or AL-41, allowing for subsonic speeds of up to 1,000 km per hour, 620 miles per hour. Its range exceeds 6,000 km, 3,730 miles, enabling it to conduct long-distance missions. With a payload capacity of up to 2.8 tons, it can carry an impressive arsenal of weapons stored in internal bays to maintain stealth. In summary, the S-70 Okotnik represents a significant leap in Russia's drone capabilities, pivotal to the country's modern warfare strategies. Although it remains in testing, it is expected to become fully operational soon, providing Russia with a powerful new asset for both reconnaissance and strike missions.